Internet censorship circumvention is the use of various methods and tools to bypass Internet censorship. Various techniques and methods are used to bypass Internet censorship, and have differing ease of use, speed, security, and risks. Some methods, such the use of alternate DNS servers, evade blocking by using an alternate address or address lookup system to access the site. Techniques using website mirrors or archive sites rely on other copies of the site being available at different locations. Additionally, there are solutions that rely on gaining access to an Internet connection that is not subject to filtering, often in a different jurisdiction not subject to the same censorship laws, using technologies such as proxying, virtual private networks, or anonymization networks. An arms race has developed between sensors and developers of circumvention software, resulting in more sophisticated blocking techniques by sensors and the development of harder to detect tools by researchers. Estimates of adoption of circumvention tools vary substantially and are disputed. Barriers to adoption can include usability issues, difficulty finding reliable and trustworthy information about circumvention, lack of desire to access censored content, and risks from breaking the law. Topic: <laughs> Circumvention methods. There are many methods available that may allow the circumvention of Internet filtering, which can widely vary in terms of implementation difficulty, effectiveness, and resistance to detection. Topic alternate names and addresses Filters may block specific domain names, either using DNS hijacking or URL filtering. Sites are sometimes accessible through alternate names and addresses that may not be blocked. Some websites may offer the same content at multiple pages or domain names. For example, the English Wikipedia is available at https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash, and there is also a mobile formatted version at https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash. If DNS resolution is disrupted but the site is not blocked in other ways, it may be possible to access a site directly through its IP address. Using alternative DNS servers, or public recursive name servers may bypass DNS-based blocking. Sensors may block specific IP addresses. Depending on how the filtering is implemented, it may be possible to use different forms of the IP address, such as by specifying the address in a different base. For example, the following URLs all access the same site, although not all browsers will recognize all forms, http colon slash slash 208.80.152.2 dotted decimal, http colon slash slash 349494272 decimal, http colon slash slash 0320.0120.0230.02 dotted octal http colon slash slash oxd 0509802 hexadecimal and http colon slash slash oxd 0.0x50.0x98.0x2 dotted hexadecimal topic mirrors caches and copies Cached pages, some search engines keep copies of previously indexed web pages, or cached pages, which are often hosted by search engines and may not be blocked. For example, Google allows the retrieval of cached pages by entering cache, some URL. As a search request, Mirror and Archive sites, copies of web sites or pages may be available at Mirror or Archive sites such as the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. RSS aggregators, RSS aggregators such as Feedly may be able to receive and pass on RSS feeds that are blocked when accessed directly. Topic. Proxying Web proxies, proxy websites are configured to allow users to load external web pages through the proxy server, permitting the user to load the page as if it is coming from the proxy server and not the blocked source. 
However, depending on how the proxy is configured, a sensor may be able to determine the pages loaded and or determine that the user is using a proxy server. For example, the mobile Opera Mini browser uses a proxy-based approach employing encryption and compression in order to speed up downloads. This has the side effect of allowing it to circumvent several approaches to Internet censorship. In 2009 this led the government of China to ban all but a special Chinese versions of the browser, Domain Fronting. Circumvention software can implement a technique called Domain Fronting, where the destination of a connection is hidden by passing the initial requests through a content delivery network or other popular site. This technique was used by messaging applications including Signal and Telegram, but large cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud no longer permit its use. SSH tunneling. By establishing an SSH tunnel, a user can forward all their traffic over an encrypted channel, so both outgoing requests for blocked sites and the response from those sites are hidden from the sensors, for whom it appears as unreadable SSH traffic. Virtual Private Network VP Using a VPN, a user who experiences Internet censorship can create a secure connection to a more permissive country, and browse the Internet as if they were situated in that country. Some services are offered for a monthly fee, others are ad-supported. According to Global Web Index, over 400 million people use virtual private networks to circumvent censorship or for increased level of privacy. Tor, more advanced tools such as Tor route encrypted traffic through multiple servers to make the source and destination of traffic less traceable. It can in some cases be used to avoid censorship, especially when configured to use traffic obfuscation techniques. Topic. Traffic obfuscation A sensor may be able to detect and block use of circumvention tools. There are efforts to make circumvention tools less detectable by randomizing the traffic, attempting to mimic a non-blocked protocol, or tunneling traffic through a whitelisted service by using techniques including domain fronting. Tor and other circumvention tools have adopted multiple obfuscation techniques that users can use depending on the nature of their connection, which are sometimes called pluggable transports. Topic. Sneaker nets A sneaker net is the transfer of electronic information, especially computer files, by physically carrying data on storage media from one place to another. A sneaker net can move data regardless of network restrictions simply by not using the network at all. One example of a widely adopted sneaker net network is El Paquete Seminole in Cuba. Topic. Adoption of circumvention tools Circumvention tools have seen spikes in adoption in response to high-profile blocking attempts, however, studies measuring adoption of circumvention tools in countries with persistent and widespread censorship report mixed results. In response to persistent censorship Measures and estimates of circumvention tool adoption have reported widely divergent results. A 2010 study by Harvard University researchers estimated that very few users use censorship circumvention tools, likely less than 3% of users even in countries that consistently implement widespread censorship. Other studies have reported substantially larger estimates, but have been disputed. In China, anecdotal reports suggest that adoption of circumvention tools is particularly high in certain communities, such as universities, and a survey by Freedom House found that users generally did not find circumvention tools to be difficult to use. Market research firm Global Web Index has reported that there are over 35 million Twitter users and 63 million Facebook users in China. Both services are blocked. However, these estimates have been disputed. Facebook's advertising platform estimates 1 million users in China, and other reports of Twitter adoption estimate 10 million users. 
Other studies have pointed out that efforts block circumvention tools in China have reduced adoption of those tools. The Tor network previously had over 30,000 users connecting from China, but as of 2014 had only approximately 3,000 Chinese users. In Thailand, internet censorship has existed since 2002, and there is sporadic and inconsistent filtering. In a small-scale survey of 229 Thai Internet users, a research group at the University of Washington found that 63% of surveyed users attempted to use circumvention tools, and 90% were successful in using those tools. Users often made on-the-spot decisions about use of circumvention tools based of limited or unreliable information, and had a variety of perceived threats, some more abstract and others more concrete based on personal experiences. In response to blocking events In response to the 2014 blocking of Twitter in Turkey, information about alternate DNS servers was widely shared, as using another DNS server such as Google Public DNS allowed users to access Twitter. The day after the block, the total number of posts made in Turkey was up 138%, according to Brandwatch, an internet measurement firm. After a April 2018 ban on the Telegram messaging app in Iran, web searches for VPN and other circumvention software increased as much as 48x for some search terms, but there was evidence that users were downloading unsafe software. As many as a third of Iranian Internet users used the P-Siphon tool in the days immediately following the block, and in June 2018 as many as 3.5 million Iranian users continued to use the tool. Topic. Anonymity, risks, and trust Circumvention and anonymity are different. Circumvention systems are designed to bypass blocking, but they do not usually protect identities. Anonymous systems protect a user's identity. And while they can contribute to circumvention, that is not their primary function. It is important to understand that open public proxy sites do not provide anonymity and can view and record the location of computers making requests as well as the websites accessed. In many jurisdictions accessing blocked content is a serious crime, particularly content that is considered child pornography, a threat to national security, or an incitement of violence. Thus it is important to understand the circumvention technologies and the protections they do or do not provide and to use only tools that are appropriate in a particular context. Great care must be taken to install, configure, and use circumvention tools properly. Individuals associated with high-profile rights organizations, dissident, protest, or reform groups should take extra precautions to protect their online identities. Circumvention sites and tools should be provided and operated by trusted third parties located outside the censoring jurisdiction that do not collect identities and other personal information. Best are trusted family and friends personally known to the circumventor, but when family and friends are not available, sites and tools provided by individuals or organizations that are only known by their reputations or through the recommendations and endorsement of others may need to be used. Commercial circumvention services may provide anonymity while surfing the Internet, but could be compelled by law to make their records and users' personal information available to law enforcement. Topic. Software There are five general types of Internet censorship circumvention software. CGI proxies use a script running on a web server to perform the proxying function. A CGI proxy client sends the requested URL embedded within the data portion of an HTTP request to the CGI proxy server. The CGI proxy server pulls the ultimate destination information from the data embedded in the HTTP request, sends out its own HTTP request to the ultimate destination, and then returns the result to the proxy client. A CGI proxy tool's security can be trusted as far as the operator of the proxy server can be trusted. 
CGI proxy tools require no manual configuration of the browser or client software installation, but they do require that the user use an alternative, potentially confusing browser interface within the existing browser. HTTP proxies send HTTP requests through an intermediate proxying server. A client connecting through an HTTP proxy sends exactly the same HTTP request to the proxy as it would send to the destination server unproxied. The HTTP proxy parses the HTTP request, sends its own HTTP request to the ultimate destination server, and then returns the response back to the proxy client. An HTTP proxy tool's security can be trusted as far as the operator of the proxy server can be trusted. HTTP proxy tools require either manual configuration of the browser or client-side software that can configure the browser for the user. Once configured, an HTTP proxy tool allows the user transparently to use his normal browser interface. Application proxies are similar to HTTP proxies, but support a wider range of online applications. Peer-to-peer -peer systems store content across a range of participating volunteer servers combined with technical techniques such as rerouting to reduce the amount of trust placed on volunteer servers or on social networks to establish trust relationships between server and client users. Peer-to-peer -peer system can be trusted as far as the operators of the various servers can be trusted or to the extent that the architecture of the peer-to-peer -peer system limits the amount of information available to any single server and the server operators can be trusted not to cooperate to combine the information they hold. Rerouting systems send requests and responses through a series of proxying servers, encrypting the data again at each proxy, so that a given proxy knows at most either where the data came from or is going to, but not both. This decreases the amount of trust required of the individual proxy hosts. Below is a list of different Internet censorship circumvention software. Topic. See also Anonymous P2P Bypassing content control filters Domain fronting Bypassing the Great Firewall of China Computer surveillance Content control software Cypherpunk Crypto anarchism Electronic Frontier Foundation, an international non-profit digital rights advocacy and legal organization Global Internet Freedom Consortium GIFC, a consortium of organizations that develop and deploy anti-censorship technologies Internet Privacy MeshNet Open Technology Fund OTF, a U.S. Government-funded program created in 2012 at Radio Free Asia to support global Internet freedom technologies Proxy List Tactical Technology Collective, a non-profit foundation promoting the use of free and open-source software for non-governmental organizations, and producers of NGO in a box Tor